Like many big franchises, there are a lot of different Tenchi series, and some of them assume you're familiar with the characters. So if you want to dig into the series, where should you start? It's certainly a good idea to go back to the original OVA that started it all off, Tenchi Moyo Ryo Oki from 1992. This gives you a full origin story for most of the characters, with a few secrets still in store for later, in a compact six episode story that ends with a satisfying climax. It also includes all the major genres that the franchise classically focuses on, mostly harem comedy, some sci-fi action, and a little etchy harem fun. Note that the OVA does include several R-rated scenes of female nudity, and a little male nudity, but very little in the way of actual sexuality. Tenchi is not physically or, or romantically interested in any of the girls in that story. It's also not a bad idea to start with the first Tenchi TV series called Tenchi Universe, since that reintroduces all the characters with new backstories and origins. You don't need to see any other Tenchi series to understand its characters. It also introduces a new character, Kione, a galaxy police detective and fan favorite character who doesn't appear in the OVA stories or the OVA timeline, such as it is. Tenchi Universe also still hits the same genre high points as the OVA, but with a lot more episodes and thus more time to explore the characters. And as a TV series, it's a little more work safe than the OVA. Now, if you're into Magical Girl series, I highly recommend the Tenchi spin-off series called Magical Project S, or the Pretty Sammy TV series. Starting its life as a short OVA parody of Magical Girl stories, the staff spun that into a full 26-episode TV series that's not only high on comedy and a fun, light Magical Girl story that builds into a big climax, but also includes some surprisingly dark and sad story beats. If you like Magical Girl Deo called Nanoha and Madoka Magica, Magical Project S was doing that back in 1996. Now, I got, to, uh, I got into Tenchi through Tenchi Moyo in Love, the first Tenchi movie, and that's also a reasonable starting point. It does kind of assume you know the characters, but if you don't, you can kind of just leap in and take their powers and abilities for granted. Much like watching Dragon Ball Z or Naruto, you just understand that these characters can do weird things. And it tells a nice, compact, like 90 minute story with these characters with a beautiful soundtrack. And uh, it's a, just a, a strong way of kind of orienting yourself to the franchise with minimal commitment. So if you want to try uh, Tenchi, those are all definitely reasonable places to start. Hope you found this helpful.